The weather in week two of the Ole Miss football schedule could not have been in greater contrast to the previous Saturday. Gone was the sweltering heat of opening day, replaced with what could only be described as perfect football weather. And while the temperature was starkly different, the focus of the team was identical to week one. I told you last week, one of my shows growing up, anybody remember the show? <laughs> Beverly Hillbillies. Said California is the place you ought to be, so he loaded up the truck and he moved to Beverly Hills, that is, swimming pool and movie stars. And I ask you the question, when did Jed become a millionaire? When he bought the land. I think you're a bunch of millionaires. I'm just not sure you know it yet. Pass to the near side. Core has it. Did he get a foot down? Yes, he did. Cody Core, touchdown. Play action. Keep it himself. Fakes the pitch, takes it in the end zone. Chad Kelly with his second rushing touchdown of the season. There's the snap as Kelly wants to go over the middle. Fires to the end zone. Got his man. Caught. Go! Go! Touchdown. Quincy and a boy show. First down for the Rebels at the 50-yard line. Play action. Chad's going deep. Wide open. And a boy show. Caught it at the 13-5. Touchdown. Oh, man. Wide open. It's 27 to nothing with a minute 23 to go in the first quarter. You see right here, he's going for all of it. Play action, deep pass, caught at the five. Yeah! Yeah! All day. Let's go, eight. And Chad Kelly is putting on a clinic. Uh, the fact that he's made good decisions and, and has been very accurate, too. And like I said, uh, those throws to Quincy. We had him open, but both times he put the ball right where it had to be. It makes people cover the whole field. They know they're going to have to have somebody close, and uh, that, that puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Third down and three for Ole Miss on that incompletion from the 45 of Fresno. Buchanan to throw again, and this pass is picked off. Threw it right into traffic, intercepted down the near sidelines, the 40 to the 30 to the 20, and all the way to the house for the touchdown there is Shannon Edwards. He just flat didn't see him, I guess. There was a ton of traffic in that area, and he threw it right into the hands of Shannon Edwards. And Edwards takes it all the way in for the touchdown. The senior from Bakersfield, California, and Fresno's on the board. Back to throw. Steps into the throw over the middle, and it's going to be caught for a touchdown. And Fresno finished with a little flurry. Big defensive play, offensive play. They gave him a little momentum, especially scoring for one half. This is one of our um, things we don't want to happen. This is one of our goals is not to let him score it. End of the half or the beginning of the half. As a defense, that's what we do not want. We want goose eggs on the board. We don't want no touchdowns from any opponent, no matter who, who it is. We let momentum go back to a team. That is not what this defense is about. Now, here's the great thing about this is we get an opportunity against a solid football team. We get an opportunity to go out and we get to test ourselves as to whether or not we can snatch it back. Whether we can snatch the momentum back. You know, him and Coach Warman, they kind of got on us a little bit. Said that's not how we play defense. So we had to come out uh, second half and try to, try to set the tone. In the battle to regain momentum, Senior C.J. Johnson would fire the first shot. Twins to the right, empty set, pass right on the picked off by Ole Miss. C.J. And it's C.J. that's got it headed the other way. Coach Kiffin was screaming from the sideline um, that it was like a play where somebody was split out wide, and uh, I knew that was going to throw it to the tight end. I actually thought he was going to pick six, he like score a touchdown, but I guess he kind of ran out of gas because we was, I mean, Every time we come to pick, we were returning for a touchdown. So I'm like, oh, we're going to be three for three. He's going to come to the 40. C.J. Johnson, the 45, to the 50. I'm running past the 50. I see C.J., he's gassing. But I'm like, come on, C.J., come on, come on. C.J. is getting a little, guess <laughs> the fatigue got to him a little bit. He was too excited and gassed out a little bit. People don't know, like, it was a 70-yard return, but I really ran like 120 yards because I cut all the way back across the field. So if you add that 50, it's like 120 yards. So that's, that's a long way, you feel me? Still on his feet to the 40. He's got blockers. He's at the 30 and knocked down at the 20-yard line. He tried to actually jump over the guy, but that didn't work out so well. <laughs> In full speed, like it looked like he was falling. So I was trying to jump, but like I was so tired that I didn't really jump. I just kind of threw my leg up. He is by far the slowest linebacker we got. Hey, listen, I think every other linebacker would have said that, except CJ. Listen, when I crossed the 50, I 
got a sensor on the dashboard that said overheat. Please shut down. I repeat, overheat. Please shut down. That's why I jump like that. Johnson's interception return would set up a scoring opportunity for defensive cohort Robert Kimdichi, whose one-yard plunge would give him his second touchdown in as many weeks. The handoff is to Kimdichi straight ahead, and Robert powers it in for the touchdown. Well, it's fun for a number of reasons. First of all, for me, knowing that you can hand the ball to him, the touchdown he had against Fresno, uh, we actually blew the blocking scheme, and a defensive end came straight through. You know, a normal back is going to get run you know, minus two. Robert just ran over the guy and scored the touchdown. So it makes it nice when you know you don't have to block everybody and you still score a touchdown. Well, and he was hit the backfield. I mean, they, they had great penetration to that left side of the Fresno defense, David. I had, I had to block. He was a tight three, and uh, he crossed face. And when he crossed face, I was trying to double team with the center to help help the center out so he wouldn't surprise him. And um, I didn't get out of the way fast enough for Robert. After, when I was getting up, I was getting up kind of slow. And uh, he was like, bro, come on, bro, get up, get up. You know, it's kind of like he he kind of felt, he was like, man, I know I hit you hard, but bro, please get up. You know, <laughs> I hope you're not hurt. Yeah! 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 Handoff straight up the middle of the 20, the 15, the 10. Can he get there in the end zone? Touchdown, Akeem Judd. Gary. Drives it hard and straight through there, and there's the first field goal of the season. Handoff is to Brasley, straight ahead. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. While the offense continued their dominance, what stood out equally were the 14 points delivered by way of the no-fly zone. Back to throw, pressure up the middle, fires deep, picked off at the 38-yard line. Oh, that's great. From the snap, man, I seen the quarterback look straight to the field, and basically we got enough pressure where he had to hurry up and throw the ball. He threw the ball, it came right into my hands. Trey, you know, he, he got good vision when he run the ball, he catch a pick. He just got that ick factor, you know, like when it's the ball in the hand, he just makes something happen. And of course, you know, he's a punt returner, kick returner for us too, so like, like he's pretty magical with that ball in his hand. Well, I'm looking for the, uh, the next sideline, get straight to the sideline, and I'm looking for a key blocker. And so, that, like, my last pick it was Ken, man. He had that receiver, and he was blocking him straight downfield. And I was just messing with him back and forth, which it would help me out. Ten, five, can he get there? Yes, he does! Touchdown, Ole Miss! Well, Trey Elson is two for two. That's uh, two touchdowns in two weeks. Absolutely gorgeous. There's the snap, and the pass is deflected, and maybe picked off. It is picked off. Justin Johnson, or Chief Brown, actually has a pickoff. He's trying to get the end zone. He's going to make it. Touchdown, Ole Miss. He swats at it, and the guy ricochets off his shoulder, and I'm seeing the ball right before it hits the ground. I'm like, I got to pick this ball off. And I was like, it's not going to hit the ground. So when I realized I grabbed the pick in my hand, it kind of shocked me. And I was like, oh, I got the ball. And I was like, I'm going to score a touchdown. I thought he was going to go straight. Man, I was like, man, she's going to have to go through about three big guys to go in that touchdown. I guess you seen the alley, and uh, he cut across the field and made the quarterback miss. So I took off, and my mentality, I wasn't going to let anybody tackle me. And the quarterback came up to me and tried to tackle me, and I stepped forward, and I took it to the end zone. Chief Brown with the interception. It went off the hands of Justin Johnson, and Chief said, look what I got, and worked it to the end zone for six. Nobody's more deserving of that than Chief Brown. Blew out an Achilles tendon a couple years ago, and uh, worked his way back into shape. It's always good to make a play, especially when you're coming back from an injury um, and you're able to make plays to help the team. Well, you know, him coming back, pushing himself back from last year and this year, man, he's, he's been working pretty hard. It's just our bond together, you know, like we love to see our teammates make plays. We're not selfish at all, so when they got the ball in their hand, we're going to try to clear away for them and score a touchdown, because that's, that's how much love we have for each other. Ole Miss wins. Back-to-back -back weeks with 70-plus points. Today, 73-21, the final score in Oxford.